Hello everyone, this is Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants, America's favorite construction support and preferred Procore partner. Um, I want to welcome everybody to this session of our Procore Practical Proficiency Program, uh, where we've been putting together an ongoing series of trip tips and tricks uh, here on YouTube to help you get the most out of your Procore system. And today, I wanted to talk about importing companies and vendors, right? So, you know, in Procore, uh, you know, companies and vendors, they're essentially the same thing. They're the people that you do business with, right? Whether it's, you know, suppliers, contractors, vendors, subcontract, you know, wh whoever, right? Even your own company, right? Um, and, and they're stored at the company level directory, right? Um, so, you know, the idea is that you can go in and you can build all of these different structures and you can include all of the information like, uh, you know, whether they're pre-qualified bidders, are they a union company, have you verified their insurance, right? You can include, you know, uh, you know, who the primary contact is and the company website information, and all the data that you would put, you know, potentially need on your project for every one of your, your company vendor partners, okay? Um, so that's not an overly difficult thing to do. And what I'm gonna do here real quick is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump over, all right, to uh, Procore, right? And I'm gonna show you guys that, you know, where most of us begin to work, what we, what we have here, all right? Um, if I go in and I go into my company level directory, okay? So again, you know, at the company level directory, this is where most of us start, right? That we're working at the company level directory. We've got a bunch of folks that we can work with here. You see that I can add users, I can add companies, right? But you'll notice that when I go in, if I want to add a company, right? Um, I'm going to go over here to the companies tab, right? If I want to add a company, right? I have a list of companies already in place and I can add them one at a time manually. I can add Joe's construction company or whatever I need. But if I go and I take a look here, I've got Acme Drywall. You see all the different pieces of data that I can fill out and all the information that I can keep for every one of these companies, right? Including I can drag and drop and bring in, you know, attachments and files for insurance certifications and so on. That's great. It's wonderful to have all that data. But, you know, think about it, right? For It's one thing when you're adding one or two companies. That's easy. But when you're first getting started in Procore um, and you need to bring in all the clients you've worked with for the past 30 years, or if you, you know, purchased or, or merged with a new company and they have three or 4,000 different companies that they work with and vendors that they work with that you need to bring into your Procore database, it's quite a lot to see here and add one of these for every you know a thousand times and then go in and edit 30 or 40 pieces of information for a thousand different contractors right you know so it's the kind of thing that can really become overwhelming very quickly so instead what we can do is we can use the Procore import tool which I already have open here and when you first launch this and, and the Procore import tool is a free download from your Procore site uh, it's an app you can download for free um, and it'll ask you to log in with your usual uh, Procore credentials. And then what you do, it brings up this box where it's going to ask you to go ahead and, and select your company name that you're going to import to, which is easy enough. All right? And it also gives you the option here to, to go in and select the project. So, for example, if I were to go in and select my Zentech training project at this point, not only would it import all of my new um, vendors and, and companies to the company level directory, but would at the same time create a duplicate of them and assign them to my project level, okay? So those same vendors would be available and, and, and billable people on this current project. Now I'm gonna choose none. I'm just gonna bring everything in here today at the, the company level. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on continue. Right, and the first thing is gonna come up here is gonna ask you what do you wanna do? You see, we can import all kinds of different things uh, using the Procore import tool. We've got bulk editing to do. I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna add new vendors today, right? And if you need more information on you know specifics on how to do this, you can click that link. But I usually go here and the first thing we do is, is do the save and open a blank template. All right? And I'm going to pop that open here all right? and show you that, you know, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Right? And it's already there. I've already done this before. Um, and what it does is it will bring up a, an empty example Excel spreadsheet for you. All right? And you can see here you've got different values. All right? The only ones that are vitally important here are the, are, are the name, right? The one that's in red. You cannot import without filling out the name column, right? You can't leave this name field blank when you're doing multiple entities. The ones that are in green, those are completely optional. Those are all those data fields and they're great to have, they're very important to have, but you can go back in and fill those out manually later if you need to. So you don't have to fill those out here. Uh, the one thing, you know, 
you know, the, the state and the country, you don't even need to fill those out. But if you do, you want to fill them both out. All right. So I just want to kind of show you that blank. Right. And I actually already have one um, that I've already uh, filled out here. And I'm just going to go over to my desktop here and, and open that up to show you. All right. Which is my vendor import template. And you can see all I've done in here. It's the same format. I just went in and added a number of, you know, example structures with some generic data in here and, you know, the address, city, state, business phone. But if you look as you make your way through, you see that all the data you have, primary contacts, right? What are they a union member, right? Um, you know, women or an African-American owned business. Um, you know, uh, you can put in license numbers, insurance, are they pre-qualified bidders? Just all kinds of data that's important to you, you can go ahead and put in here, right? So I've already filled that out, right? leaving most of it empty. All right, now we're going to go ahead and you see here I can actually go through, you know, Windows Explorer and just kind of drag and drop a file onto the center section here where it says drag files to upload. Or I can actually browse out and select that particular template. So I'm just going to browse out, all right, and I'm going to get my filled out uh, vendor template info, all right, and I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to say process, okay, all right, and it tells you right here, no problem, right, five records will be imported into Zentech Consultants. And you see there's my Acme Bravo Charlie. All right, so I can save those to the computer if I need to resave it back out for additional editing later on. Maybe I've filled out, like I said, if I have a thousand people, maybe I filled out, you know, my Excel spreadsheet, 500 of them, and I just want to import those to start, you know, other people can start working with, but I'm going to go back tomorrow and fill in the other 500. I can save that out, or I can just go ahead and say import that to Procore, right, and just say proceed, right, and then I just have to type in the company name as just a check to make sure that I didn't accidentally say okay right it's making me you know fill out a little security check there right and then it just goes through and it's going to import those records it doesn't take long at all just a minute or two right and it really is that simple you just go ahead and say finish right and you're done you can close that and now if i go in and i refresh my company level directory you see i brought in all of those vendors right and i can go in at that point and you see if i go to charlie contracting you see that it's got all of their address city, state, all of the data that I filled in. And now I can go back in later and add in any of the additional information that I need. So it's a very simple way to be able to bring in, you know, large numbers of clients and vendors directly into your Procore structure, all right? So that's what I wanted to cover today, all right? And with that said, I'm gonna remind you guys, uh, we're Zentech Consultants. Um, we are always here to help you guys. We offer construction support services. We're here to help you with your estimating needs. If you guys need help with scheduling or some additional project management setup and configuration. And we are always your go-to Procore Services partner. Right? So other than that, thanks for being here today. Have a great day, everybody.